Sue Williams has long held an affinity for China-related themes in her documentaries. She draws a connection between this professional interest and her family history. Well, my、um, grandfather was British, and he worked in China from just after World War One, like 1920 to about until actually the communists came to power. He, he actually stayed in China until 1950. And her mother grew up in Shanghai. It wasn't an unfamiliar place. Like China was sort of on my radar screen. This is the story of China in revolution. Sue Williams' ambitious project on China began in 1987 with a trilogy of documentaries, which contained historic footage rarely seen even by Chinese. The documentaries have aired in 24 countries besides the U.S. Williams' next documentary, *China in the Red*, takes a decidedly different look at the country. The style is contemporary. Williams says she wanted to show Americans how ordinary Chinese live. Well, after *China in the Red*, actually, I swore I'd never go back to China. It was such a difficult film to make.、Um, but then I started to think. I started to miss China, and then I started to think. About the young people, and I was really thinking about the future of China. You know, as China in the last ten years has really become a world power, and you know, a really significant player on the world stage. Williams' newest project is her documentary about China's future, called "Young and Restless in China." I started to think about the future of China, of who the people will be in ten, twenty years, who are who are leading the country. In the broad sense of the word, not just political, in the political sphere, but in economics and culture,、um, I was curious to get to know the young people in their 20s and 30s who'd grown up in the extraordinary last 20 years of reforms. Williams began producing Young and Restless in China in 2004. It follows the lives of nine Chinese young adults over four years as they grapple with the fast-changing society and their dreams. Hopes and sometimes unmet expectations. My life is. My life is. Jan Barris of the National Committee on U.S.-China Relations in New York says, "Young and Restless in China challenges the stereotypical view of China among Americans." This is another thing that I think is very good for Americans to see, that today in China it is not the huge authoritarian state that everybody seems to think it is. That people do have their own opinions, and they not only have them, but they can express them. And they not only can express them to each other, but they can express them to a foreigner and in front of a camera. William says the internet has given her documentary wider exposure. We're getting a lot of reactions from people that we wouldn't normally have heard from. And you know, before when you release a film just on television, you know, you get a hundred letters or something. But now, well, you know, we're going to have dozens and dozens and dozens of just because it's so easy. For people to contact us, MySpace, Facebook, as well as YouTube, has provided unprecedented access to her documentaries. For producer Yi Su Li, Elaine Lu, VOA News.